Hi guys and ladies, even though I'm a northerner, I discovered poor boys and developed a craving for them. In middle age, I gained a lot of weight though. I went on a low carb diet. Poor boys became, well, bad boys, taboo. <laughs> Here I'm going to try a low carb workaround to satisfy my yearning. So let's see what we could come up with. <music> My all-time favorite was the fried oyster poor boy. So I found these shucked oysters at a supermarket. I had no idea how much to buy for two people. So to be safe, I bought three of these half pint containers. That ought to be more than enough for sandwiches, but we'll see. How about if we season them just a little bit now, rather than seasoning the flour? So here I'm dumping my little boys into about three cups of coconut flour. So now I'm just preparing an egg wash here. One of the 787 recipes I read said to season the uh, egg wash. I wish I knew what I were doing. I'm really not sure what I'm doing, but I'm supposed to take this now out of the egg wash and into the flour a second time. Coconut flour is very absorbent. It makes almost a paste. Now it gets messier than ever. I have to uh, now get in here again with my hands. <laughs> now I'm going to put these aside. So let me tell you what's happening. The uh, oysters came out, but in coming out of the flour, they break apart into little, little uh, appendages. And I don't know if uh, there's meat in here, I mean oyster meat, or if it's just a lumpy flour. And uh, look at the pieces are getting smaller and smaller. And, you know, I'm supposed to re-dip this into egg wash again? Come on, that isn't going to happen. There is no more egg wash. Look, <laughs> it turned into uh, solids. Let's just fry these up. Well, there won't be any re-egg washing and re-dredging. That's crazy. It's not going to happen. But the directions did say that at this point, let the oysters rest in the flour for one hour. So let's fry up our misbehaving munchkins in peanut oil using this fry daddy. I have the oil temperature set for 350 degrees. I don't want to go higher because coconut flour burns more easily. I have in here only one half the oysters. I don't want to layer in too many. Let's see what happens. We're only going to go for 90 seconds in this oil. That's it. 90 seconds. I'll let them drain. Hey, they don't look bad, do they? Not bad, not bad. I know a lot of folks don't like coconut, but uh, believe me, you really don't notice that this is made of coconut. <laughs> Let's hope. Close enough. I just had a little bit of these. They are really good. Mmm. There's a subtle sweetness, but you can't taste coconut. 
it's really good. <laughs> like fried oysters. So I'm going to mix up a sandwich spread. I'm going to use this remoulade dressing. I used to call that remoulade. And some mayonnaise. I'll just do half and half here. So I'm using these flat outs. They're very low in carbohydrates. I'm going to slather some of our dressing on there. Add our fried oysters. Some cheese. Lettuce. Tomato. Wrap it up like a burrito. There it is. So they look pretty good. I'm going to put them in a warm oven so they stay warm and the cheese gets melty. So I have to tell you, that famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks herself, is coming over for dinner tonight. Well, some of you know that for 50 years I've been longing for a more intimate relationship with her. Lord knows I I'm too fearful of rejection to propose. Well, I've been thinking if only I could afford to travel with her, uh, separate rooms of, of course. Uh, that might make us a real couple. Well, here we are again with that famous celebrity food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for joining me for dinner. And we've had our dinner, uh, and they were the oyster poor boys. Uh, low carb, of course. <laughs> I was wondering uh, what you thought of that. Well, that was They were very tasty. I enjoy it. You like that? Excellent. Yes. Oh, thank, thank you. you. I did too. You know, Miss Cheeks, uh, well, I can say Lulu now, right? Yeah, uh, sure. I, I've been thinking how nice it would be to, well, go on a little vacation with you. Have you ever thought of that? Oh, sure. Paris, Rome, London, or just a cruise. Oh, uh, well, um... Maybe, uh, maybe a cruise. I, I'm rather a poor boy, as you know. Yes. And, um, well, I'll look into that, though. Okay.